What's up everyone, Apple Orchard here, and today, Apple has released the first beta of macOS Sonoma 14.4 to developers, and pretty soon they'll release to the public beta testers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside of macOS Sonoma 14.4 beta 1. So the update for me came in at 3.44 gigabytes on my M1 MacBook Air. It is a pretty hefty update size, and we will touch on what is new inside just in a bit. We first need to look at what the build number is to see how many betas it will potentially take us. So going into here, we can see we have a J at the end of the build number, and basically A is the first version of this build number, B is the second version, C is the third version, you get the point. We have a J, and this just determines how many times Apple has compiled this build of macOS Sonoma 14.4. Alright, what is new here inside of this first beta? And the first thing is inside the clock app. So if I open up the clock app right here inside of timers, you're gonna see we have all the ringtones here now. Now before we just had the classic ringtones and that was it, but now we have all the brand new ringtones. For example, if I want that one, I can just use that ringtone if I wanted to now. But I'm just gonna keep it at the default for now. So the next thing we got are brand new emojis. So if I open up my emoji picker right here, we could do this emoji right here if it will let us here we go there's that emoji we got this emoji we got this emoji this emoji this emoji and last but not least we got this emoji right here so we got these six brand new emojis and there are a couple variations of some older ones that we also got but these are the six new main emojis now, we, this is a relatively small emoji update, but at least it's better than nothing. Now, the next change in the update is inside of the weather app. So, if I open up the weather app right here, you're going to see that our location that now says the word clear and now describes the condition right here. So, if I were to go to Sonoma right here, it will say partly cloudy since that is partly cloudy there inside of Sonoma. And then if I were to go to New York, because why not, it also says partly cloudy. See Phoenix, partly cloudy, it's partly cloudy everywhere. Just trying to find a location where it is not. It also says it right here if you want to look right there. And the weather app just feels a lot smoother. There's actually also a fix mentioned in the release notes for Intel Mac. So if you still use Intel, the weather app will no longer be crashing for you upon startup, which I guess was an issue, but now it's no longer an issue inside of Sonoma. Inside of Apple Music right here, on the sidebar right here, if I were to expand this a bit, you're gonna see this used to say discover if you were on a previous version of macOS, but now this says home. So Apple's just simplifying things. It makes sense that this is the home page now and not discover because we are just discovering music. We already know what we're doing here. But yeah, home is just a much better name for this. Now inside of system settings right here, if we were to go into privacy and security, and then scroll down a bit. You're gonna see this now says screen and system audio recording. And then right here, this also says passkey access for web browsers. This will show you all the web browsers that have requested access to use your passkeys. Now that is all I could find inside of macOS Sonoma 14.4. Now let's talk about a release date. So if I were to go into this calendar right here, my expectation for this update is that it will be out on the 4th or 5th right here. I do not expect this update to come out on the 6th right here because by the 6th, Apple will need to have this update released or else they won't be able to sell iPhones in Europe. So basically that is why I say either the 4th or the 5th. Now it is a little earlier than expected, but that just means we'll have to wait for the next set of betas which means we're probably gonna not have any more betas in March and then go into April, then we'll get 14.5 right here. And then in May, we'll get a 14.6, but that won't be relatively major because in June, we will expect iOS 15. And again, pretty ahead, let's just stop. And thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, search with your friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.